son. You know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. What's going on? Welcome to another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. I uh, mean, it feels so good to be back. It was a great week, uh, definitely for myself. If you guys notice, we're missing a few uh, co-hosts today on the show. But it's all right. But I do have Nikki Avery with me tonight, and we will be joined by Emerald Marie uh, in a couple of minutes. She's going to be joining us. But uh, Nikki, what's up? Welcome what's back. What's up? Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure being here. I know. Listen, I'm glad we had we had a, we had a great day earlier. We don't have the bar this week because you know, shout out to Leanne, but she's tired now. We had a crazy photo shoot earlier yeah. today. Um, wait till you guys um, see it. Yeah, with uh with, with Leanne and Nikki, so that's yeah. gonna be dope. So y'all y'all can look out for that. So no bar this week. So it's just straight uh straight sports talk this week. Yeah, we like that sports yeah. talk. Exactly. We got we got a little football for y'all, a little basketball, and uh, we got some we got some videos. We got to recap the uh, balling for peace. Uh, Balling for Peace went down uh, two Saturdays ago over at Brooklyn Bridge Park. Uh, big shout out to Haran. He's got some more stuff that he's he's always cooking something up. So uh, big shout out to Haran. Um, but Balling for Peace again was a huge success. The flag football game. All the stars came out, and of course it was in Brooklyn, not too far from where we are right now. Um, a, a great, great event. So we got, we got some, we got some, we got some stuff. We're gonna show you all in just a minute. But we gonna, there's a couple of people that got some checks uh, this week in the NFL that we need to, uh, to get to. Yes, let's and y'all know how I feel about getting to the bag. Um, so uh, Odell Beckham Jr., my main man from the New York Giants, he got a nice little, little check. Million. Ninety-five million dollars. He got that uh, from the Giants. They finally uh, got the contract in order. I'm glad he's back. Yeah, sixty-five million dollars guaranteed. I mean, you really you, you can't beat that. And then of course, uh, Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. He he finally got his just due from the from the Packers. Mm -hmm. Uh, he got that extension, one hundred and thirty-five million dollars. Highest paid, right? highest he, paid yep. player. In the he NFL? is officially the highest paid player in the NFL right now. He he definitely deserves it. Um, he should have got that contract a long time ago. Uh, I don't know what, what Green Bay was doing, but I mean, he's arguably the best quarterback in football. I mean, I, I still got my, my main man, Tom, too cool out in uh, New England. But, you know, if you got Aaron Rodgers as the number one quarterback, I wouldn't be mad at that. He's definitely, you know, up there as far as the top quarterbacks in this league go. So a uh, big shout out to the both of them. And uh, some some news for you Jets fans out there, they uh, the Jets uh, sent uh, Teddy Bridgewater to the No Year, so he's actually down there with uh, Statman right now in uh, New Orleans. Shout out to Statman and uh, Legend in Two Games as well. They both had uh, they both had to had some obligations tonight, so they they left me here solo. But I do have uh, Nikki with me right now, and like I said, Emma's gonna be joining us. But uh, Nikki, you you had a uh, somewhat of a of a busy summer yourself. Uh, you know, with the music and, mm -hmm. and performing and, and shooting and, and all of that stuff. Um, so I, I know you, you got some, some more stuff coming up before you leave to go back because they need you out there. We need you here, but they need you Guys, it's bittersweet. It's, it's bittersweet, guys, really, honestly. So. I leave September 21st to go back to Cyprus where I'm returning to my championship team. So it's going to be like great. You know, I had to, to make sure said. that, especially Trip here, he has to know it's championship team. So... Um, Listen, we a championship show, so I'm not even <laughs> mad at that. Okay, you check the hardware. We got a whole lot of you know a lot of awards back there. Shout out to the crew, man, because y'all be holding us down. Right. Making sure we get new awards every year. So you know, love y'all. You know, but uh, but you're going back mm -hmm. as the as the best player in the league. Yep. As the champion of the league. Yep. What uh what changes now? What changes, huh? The mindset for each game has to be locked in. I mean. We can't slip up at all. People are going to come after us, you know, mm -hmm. each and every game. So I'm excited about that competition and just that feel of returning back to the game. You know, I've been cheating a little bit with music and, you know, it's time to get back to basketball soon. So I'm ready. Now, are we, are we going to be playing the Drake song back to back at the end of the season? Let's hope for that. <laughs> definitely. That's that's what the goal is, the plan. All right. We, yeah, we, we definitely want to see you come back. 
when you come back uh, from overseas telling us that you got another championship and back another best player award. Mm -hmm. So what, what, right? Cause right now I know you're still in, in music mode. So how are you breaking your way away from being in music mode to now getting back into basketball mode? Yeah, so my nails, they're gonna have to go soon. <laughs> my hair is gonna have to go soon, you so know. That's it, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I hope y'all enjoyed it this summer. <laughs> exactly. Check the, check the IG, at Nikki Avery. <laughs> at Nikki Avery, 1K, N-I-K-I. -I. Yep, you can see all of that right there. There you go, right there. But make sure y'all 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 following uh, Nikki on Instagram, or all social media on Twitter, Facebook. Yes, Hit her please. up, you know. Cause back, you know, back when I was playing basketball, you know, I was I, I could have showed you a thing or two about like the jump, my jump shot, you Here know, he was crazy. With these stories. And um, you know, listen, <laughs> don't I'm I'm just out here winning, you know, uh, you know, just I'm just sorry. doing my thing. So I didn't, I'm not trying to step on your toes. I know you got, you know, your I'm, skills. I'm glad stuff. that you allowed me to have the yeah, the you stage, know, you know, exactly. my basketball career. And that's all. exactly that's what I I'm saying. That. You know, but you know what, you can always learn new tricks and and whatnot from an elder statesman, you know, right. and that's what somebody that's been there, you know, done that. My I used to have a cross crossover. Back my, I, you know the Tim Hardaway crossover. Is that what, is that where he got it from? Where you think he got it from? I should have known. Ask him about Trip. I can tell I bet you. I see about Trip. I can see that you got the ball about. Yeah, so you know, but I don't. <laughs> I don't like to put that out there too right. tough, you know. But uh, you know, it, it, it's definitely uh, great, you know, seeing you and and what you're doing with the with the music. You got a couple of new new songs out. Y'all got to check mm -hmm. out. Get her on. Where, where, where can we get all the music at? Yeah. So my one song right now, my single release is called Pain Off Me. And that's actually on iTunes right now. It's on Tidal, Spotify, every major platform. So look it up. It's Pain Off Me. And my name, which is my artist name as well, is Nikki Avery. So check it out, guys. It's really good. And the video is coming out soon. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got, we got the, the video on the way. Y'all know I dip and dab sometimes and I step away from in front of the camera and I go behind the camera and shoot some stuff. So, you know, that's going to be that's gonna be coming uh, really soon. Um, you know what? Well, we should we should actually show because we actually got some footage of you doing a little performance on uh, out in Manhattan. Okay. Uh, so I think let's let's see if, if let, Cliff let me know in the back when we got that that ready to rock and roll. We're gonna throw that up on the screen right now. Let y'all see just a little bit of what Nikki so has little, has been up to. A little sprinkle. So as soon as soon as y'all ready, y'all y'all y'all. Nikki represent Harlem. Hold on, Nicky, ready again? So many of you, hold on, ladies. Get this. See Nicky man, turn that shit up, right? Turn it up, turn that shit up. Go, go, go. Watch your lead. Watch your move. What's it? Watch your lead. Go. Go Nikki, go Nikki. Some brand new ride. Shit, come on, get this paint on. Whoa. That Nick Zuhida here in Harlem. Yo. She didn't ever have to worry about me. I had to get that extra weight off for sure. I only imagine all the stress and the worry being alone trying to take care of me and my brother. Now I'm getting money in two. Three. One more time, man. You and Nikki, put Nikki out right now. All right, on three. It goes. One, two, three. Check it. Swerve on that, alright? Better shake your head, nigga. Shake your head, nigga. Go shake it. Hey! I uh want -oh, anyone to see all the cynical little skills, ladies. I'm still coming back to my 40 point game. I'm 
Spit that verse. But I was in town, I hit you, but you not to be found. Now I'm on the road, you hit my phone, you wanna come around. Uh, but I'm in my zone, I'm rocking out, I'm not Okay, shake, 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 Shout out to Nikki, Nikki, what's up, Nikki? I see you out there. This, this section lit. If you would think you make some fucking noise with Nikki right now, huh? If you're just joining us, this is Real Fans, Real Talk, and that was Nikki Avery. That was on the rooftop in uh, Manhattan over at uh, Deck, uh, Deck. Deck Rooftop, uh, paying off me performing. First of all, shout out to Cliff, too, because Cliff was out there putting in work uh, mm, on that uh, roof. That was hot up there on the rooftop. It was hot up but, there on the uh, rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, was, we was in there. We, yo, Cliff, why are we always on the rooftop? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, but, no, but, uh, but it was dope. And you said, so now you said that that's it? That's it for that? Y'all got to enjoy that? More that. <laughs> you got to enjoy that. The nails that. is coming off now. The, the, oh, I'm, I'm going to play with it. I'm going to go back and forth, you know. But for the m most part, like, when I get back to Cypress, it's going to be basketball mode. So no, no pink hair back on the court? I might have the pink hair and the ponytail. <laughs> all right, all right. Then we, we can I might take keep that. the pink hair. Everybody's loving that. the pink hair. All right. Yeah, I mean, listen, I ain't mad at you. All right? You yeah, do what you got it. to do. Um, it, it, it's dope. Make sure you guys at home, you guys are following us on all our social media as well and on the website, uh, realfansrealtalk.com, uh, facebook.com forward slash realfansrealtalk, Instagram and Twitter at realfantalk. And um, if you guys want to send in those fan mail questions, it's fan mail at realfans. WorldTalk.com. Um, I see uh, Emerald just walked into the building. So, uh, but before we before we bring her on, I just want to you know talk about y your main man Jerry Jones. Yeah. You know he out there in Dallas again. He, he opening his mouth. He wants to extend, wants to the, extend season the season to eighteen games now. Uh, I mean, you know, I understand what with you Jerry. Think about it? Like, I, I mean, it, you know, it's Jerry, so he's you know he he's looking at his bottom line. You know, he wants to check, um, and of course, I mean, two more games during the regular season, that's a nice little bit of check because, I mean, not everybody's pulling up to the preseason games like that, but if you got two more regular season games, you're going to sell some tickets, some merchandise, and whatnot. Um, but as far as player safety goes and injuries and all of that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not with it, you know. It's a hazard. Yeah, yeah, but I mean that that's 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 the cowgirls for you, Jerry Jones. That's what what type of stuff that he does. So we we're gonna wait and see. I I, I don't see the league moving to an eighteen game season, but you know who knows? Yeah, you never know. They yeah. all might be in the same Jerry page. Jerry kind of has one. yeah. Jerry makes his own set of rules. Mm -hmm. He kind of does what he wants to do. So we gotta you know be on the lookout and uh, and watch out for that. Um, but like I did tell you guys, you know Emerald is in the building. Now I was, and I told you guys last mm -hmm. week. Sh shout out to um, to all the girls from Girls uh, Talk Sports TV. Uh, they were here last week, and I told you guys I did have some some footage of uh, Emerald hooping, you know, one on one with her sister. I ain't gonna give y'all the the footage of you know the, the the little kid that was out there, you know, with us that day. <laughs> I ain't gonna give y'all a lap, but you know, uh, but but I do have some footage from that that uh, that was the. Uh, basketball beauty shoes so i do have some footage from that so we're gonna play that uh really quick and then when we come back emerald's gonna actually join us on the set as well because i told y'all we got a whole lot to get into y'all listen I, i'm out here man i'm gonna hold it down stat man ladybug is out legend in two games eric sanchez is out and leanne is out so i'm flying solo tonight but i got the ladies with me yes so so it's not really solo it's not really solo but I, listen i'm good <laughs> and i just noticed y'all y'all matching too y'all got this all, I'm, I'm feeling good on the set today y'all go ahead and play that video Represent. so we can bring emerald down <laughs> yes all right hey boo what's up it's a well, Arthur Diamond tripped young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cat skin. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Emma Marie, and I'm a shooting guard. My name is Mackenzie Dickens, and I am a boy. And you, you, you are sisters. Yes, this is my big sister. Who, who, got, who, got, who got the better game? 
Yeah. Almost oh, even. Depending on the day, you know. <laughs> if you, all right, if y'all was the Williams sisters, who would be Serena and who would be Venus? I'm Serena. I think, I think, you know, how about we both Serena? Y'all both Serena? Serena, yeah. All right. Except I'm Serena in, like, um, I don't know, when she's competing. At the French Open? Yeah, I'm like Serena. And you more Wimbledon? Yeah. What? Or practice. No, we're, we're definitely uh, competitive and make, make each other better. So we're a team regardless. Where would you all right, where would you rank you yourselves amongst all of the brothers and sisters in sports, like the Mannings, the Williams sisters, the Morris twins? Where would y'all would y'all put yourself in like the top five of of you know siblings? I think we're pretty nice. We're up there. Yeah. <laughs> Serena, if you're no, watching, you know. No, but you know, all jokes aside, though, like um, we definitely we we we've grown over the years, like as far as just our athletic ability. We look up the players like that. Yeah, absolutely. Who, who out of y'all two, who got the better handle? Hey, oh, you just say you use the point forward, right? Yeah, definitely. Get the opportunity. And who got the defense on lock? I'm the shooter. I'm the defense, too. Oh, but, all right, so handle, defense, shooter. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. I need to see a little one-on-one. -on. Let me see a little one-on-one -on -one action. I want to get, get y'all the one-on-one. -on -one. And it, don't, don't, listen, I want y'all to put y'all A game. I don't want no flashbacks when that kid was crossing you up. <laughs> that little one-on-one, -on -one, it was even, y'all both made one basket, one basket. Y'all didn't let each other score, right? No. no. Did does it, like, does the competition between y'all get real serious? I mean, I think because we're both competitive, absolutely, but I think people try to pin us against each other more than we do ourselves. So y'all rather be teammates? It gets serious, but not, like, disrespectful. So we, we respect each other. But it definitely helps us. It's a blessing having a sister that is a year apart, so it can help you. Because it's like, who else can go in the backyard and have a 5, 10 player to guard and practice on to spot, spot your shot? Also, you know, she did get to warm up with the little kid. So I was a little... Go ahead. Wait. I'm just saying. Hold on. <laughs> now, when you say something like that, make it look like she beat you. I'm trying to keep it even. I'm yeah, it. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Uh, you know, we just got got even more sexy on the screen. Emily's <laughs> up there now. She got her Cameron shirt on. Damn, like got the pink. Right. The pink, 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 pink. Pink. Listen, I didn't even know sis was gonna wear it, but it's like they, we're on the same page. Listen, I ain't complaining. <laughs> okay, living my best life out here. All right, shout out, shout out to Cam, man. Uh, the whole dip set, the big homie Freaky Zeke. Y'all know, rocking out with y'all. Um, but we are back. All right. Ladies, y'all are here. I wanna. There was there was a story that I, I wanted to uh, to get into because um, with the, uh, the the college uh, football mm -hmm. athletes, and I know you you were kind of going on your Instagram, and you were kind of going back and forth oh, with, with your fans on on Instagram mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, do you wanna do you wanna kind of go in a little bit and in, in, in let them know exactly the rundown? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so basically, there was a young lady. I believe it was Sacred Heart University. I'm not sure in the college, but in 2016 she accused two um black uh, football players of rape and um she basically recounted her statement and recanted rather and she said that it didn't happen mm -hmm. and she's now going to do a year in prison um so i had posted on my instagram this week and people were going crazy saying one a year was either too much or too little um Right. <laughs> so, I mean, this is the first case that I've actually seen the young lady get jail time. So yeah. I was actually like, finally, you know, but then again, it's like, I don't even think a year is enough because had no. they been guilty, these young men would have served way more than a year. At least and their 10 life, years. I mean, I their life like would be that. ruined. Least, I believe it's at least 10 years for, for, for rape. Right. And not to mention, I think being a black male in this society, you already know what that struggle is like. Yeah. When you are labeled, when someone can Google you and you have rape on there or you're yeah. being an accused. Doesn't matter. You're defamed. It affects job careers. It, mm -hmm. And then not to mention, they were maybe had NFL dreams. Yeah. Right. Draft, you know what I mean? Draft status and all that because now teams don't want to touch you. I mean, right. hopefully now, um, I mean, they can kind of move past that. I know it's going to be rough because, like you said, Anytime you Google them, it's going to come up accused of rape. Right. Because, you know, we always get the big headlines on the front page, but then when, when something comes out that this actually didn't happen, it's in, like, the little corner in the back, page 75. Mm -hmm. Right, they did. And I think as far as the justice system, like, we say America, our slogan is what, uh, innocent 
until until proven, proven guilty. guilty. We really treat people guilty until, until proven, proven innocent. innocent. So it's mm -hmm. you know it was just upsetting the whole yeah. story. So. Um, I mean, it, it, it's rough because, I mean, because clearly, I mean, I, we know rape is, is not anything to, to play with. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, we're finding more and more cases where, you know, these women are not being truthful. Mm -hmm. um, and whether it be their embarrassment or whatever the case may be, but they're not being truthful. And, you know, it's never cool to ruin somebody's life yeah. over, you know, over some false accusations like that, especially rape, because that's... It's so serious. Yeah, yeah it's serious. And that's, especially, first of all, in prison, that's the, the last thing you want to go to jail mm -hmm. for is, is rape. Right. So especially if you didn't do it and, yeah. you know, it's rough. The only other uh, situation where I've heard of um, where the woman actually got jail time um, was actually uh, T.K. Kirkland, the comedian. Mm -hmm. um, he actually had a situation. He, he did an interview on Black TV, and he was saying how he was dating this uh, woman in, uh, in Atlanta at the one of the comedy shows that he used to do. And um, they weren't in a relationship. They were just, you know, I guess having sex or whatever. Right. And um, But I guess in her mind, they was in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And he started messing with another girl that came into the club. So one day when he left, he was, like, on the road again, and she, she accused him of rape, so he had to come back to deal with the situation. It came out, the truth finally came out that he actually didn't rape her. Everything they ever did was consensual. Right. And he wound up pressing charges on her, and she got three years in prison. Wow. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's surprising. That's yeah. yeah, that's surprising. Absolutely. And, I mean, it, it's, you, you, yeah, you I mean, kind of have to because you have to make that deterrent. And, it's, you know, if you can't, if you falsify and rape, you know, that's, that's. It's a crime. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah that's a crime. <laughs> it's because a crime. Especially, like, you know, s someone who is in, in the, in the media or any kind, any kind of athlete or entertainer, you could potentially ruin their entire career. Their life. With Hating those, their life. Yeah, everything, yeah. you know, with, with those kind of accusations, right. you know. So, it's just crazy. I mean, listen, like, you know, ladies, yeah, you know, if. Clearly, if if something is happening, you got to mm -hmm. speak up and say something. You should never be afraid to to speak the truth. Yeah, right. But if you know if that's not the case, I mean, we can go all the way back to Emmett Till. Yeah, right. And know, that's what where, I thought of. And people, um, disclaimer, like the Me Too movement, all those things. I think it's great when women do come out, and it does happen, mm -hmm. right? But I thought about Emmett Till. Because even though it's like extreme, it's he was a young boy. You know, if you guys don't know Emmett Till, you need to pick yeah. up a history book. Mm -hmm. But the, the the just like to see what happened to him just made me realize like it's so important to talk about it. Talk about white women or women yeah. in general accusing black minority men of that. You know, so I don't know. It's just crazy. But I I'm mean, happy that she got it at least. Listen, here. we saw we saw Kobe deal with this. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and we saw how that how that situation turned out. Yeah. But I mean, Kobe went through it for for a yeah. while. Yeah, he, he was he dealing with it through the media. You mm -hmm. know, just anything. I mean, again, because that comes up with your name anytime you yeah. search. At that time, it was maybe maybe a good four or five years Change after. Your image, it yeah. was still coming up, you know, mm -hmm. you know, situation with Kobe. And so. that's Kobe. He's like one of the superstars. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's basketball. not safe. No one's safe. Yeah, no, yeah, nobody. nobody. No one's safe. Right. And it's unfortunate for girls who actually did have gone through rape. Yeah. Right. Now it's like speaking out nowadays with people who would just hop on the bandwagon yeah. saying they that they really got touched. Them. Yeah, R. Kelly. Yeah. I mean, there's people who did and didn't. There's so many different cases. Even the Cosby situation. Like, yeah. It was like every day there was another woman, and it, you didn't know if it was right. real. So it's yeah. frustrating, like, because yeah. then if it is real, it's like you know, mm -hmm. yeah. hurtful to the woman, and it's like you can't. Yeah, so you can't be out here thing. crying wolf with, so, uh, you know, yeah. you, I mean, you shouldn't be crying wolf anyway. But it's definitely not with something as as right. serious as yeah. as rape, yep. you know. So listen, she got she got the time, mm -hmm. and according to what the the two gentlemen would have gotten. I mean, really, that's nothing. What right. she got? I mean, she she wasn't even looking remorseful at all, right? Uh, you mm -hmm. know, in the courtroom for for what she had what she had done. I mean, and, and, you know, she just didn't care. She she could have potentially ruined these guys' lives, right. and for what? You know, so maybe she'll think about it while she's spending a year in jail. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, which probably be like eight months, I guess, on you know, the good <laughs> right. behavior and all that. But that's why y'all need written consent nowadays. Look, listen, I tell. My I, I speak to the fellas all the time. I tell them, listen, you need to have a contract, <laughs> video statement, okay? Everything needs to be signed and documented. Yes, I consent to 
this, 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 and that, and then you take all the electronic equipment too. That's for for brothers like o Odell Beckham Jr. who get caught in hotel rooms. Listen, you take all the video equipment, you put it in the envelope, you leave it with security. Mm -hmm. You can have your stuff back. You know, when you when they leave, when you, you leave. give them all their stuff back. Yeah, but yeah. these are you know trip young words to grow on. <laughs> so you got to, you got to be yeah. careful and protect yourself. Of course. You know, yeah. because listen, I mean, come on now, there's, yeah. there's women out here, they, they yeah. you know what I'm saying, it's like, yeah. that's yeah. just doing whatever, yeah. you know, to get Scandalous. that, to get to get to the check or to, to mm -hmm. get knocked up or to do something, so. If you're not a boss like us getting by yourself, Hello. You know, so, there's other so. women out here that yeah, are they, scheming they, and they, plotting, so. Exactly. My homie said he, when he texts his girl, say they're about to come over. He gets real like graphic in the text because he wants to see. He basically wants to go to be like, yeah, I'm down with that yeah. because he's basically that's he does that's his way of being. He's yeah. in the industry, so he's really careful on his, you yeah. know. So you and I say, yo, I'm not even mad at you. Like right. that's for nah. you know. Well, you have to be you gonna careful. do what? Yes. Okay, right. to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You have to be careful. Mm -hmm. All right, you gotta watch out, man. You know, <laughs> listen, women, y'all got to do the same thing too. Cause I mean, this brothers jumping we, in. I know they come in y'all A lot of history where we we were being raped and these things so mm -hmm. i mean yeah you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta be, be cautious it's, it's, oh, I protect it's my stuff brand. on both sides yeah, yeah it's listen. Tough on both sides Ready. Listen, somebody they might try. They, you know what I'm saying? Guys yeah. is gonna is gonna come up, you know, and try to get knocked up. We get, you know, for the Listen. paper when y'all balling, y'all yeah. out here, y'all getting your money. <laughs> you gotta watch out because you got male groupies too. Now it ain't just the women now. It's male groupies out there too. So ladies, y'all got to protect yourself too. You make these brothers sign the contracts. I know you too see now. these guns, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm right. happy Listen. a male just said that there's male groupies too. Oh no, there's definitely there male groupies because now. God, I didn't realize until recently. Yeah. Every yeah. time I do like a red carpet, my DMs get filled with dudes that are like, "Yo, what's up?" So you looking real good. I'm like, mm -hmm. you didn't say that to me last year when I used <laughs> exactly. to be with you. So to nope. come up, now no. you doing your thing. No, you doing you getting that you getting that check. That's what. Listen, when I, you know I deal with this uh, with wifey. She tell me, you know, because. Was you know Serena baby boo? She let me know. <laughs> Here he goes. We you know, too with the you know, Serena. Be coming out. Huh? You know she can't wear that cap. Like that. I know cat she suit. can't wear that cat suit anymore. What you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, she, she can. She wore the tutu. She might not wear it at the French Open, but she gonna wear it. <laughs> All right, recognize who you dealing she with. She gonna wear it for me. Yeah. 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 Listen, that, but that's, you know, that's 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 wifey. You know, baby boo, love you. You know, I, you know, <laughs> you know, we gonna get up. We since you out here now, you know. Don't distract her. Tomorrow she has a big match. She does. She does have a very big match tomorrow versus my sister-in-law Venus. <laughs> it's rough because when they play each other, like at the, you know, they go back and forth at the house too. So when they have to play each other yeah. at one of these tournaments, it gets a little crazy at the, you know, at the house. You really think but, this is his girl? Yeah, he <laughs> like he really goes listen, in. Listen, 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 y'all gotta chill. I can't even do with him. I'm not even gonna say gotta, anything. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta chill. Okay, listen. So you one of those male groupies in the DM? <laughs> that's, that's you. You talking about himself? First of all, when you get, when you got her, you don't have to hop in nobody's name. I didn't have to hop in her DM. We met like two mature adults and we fell in love and you know we just decided this is what we wanted to do with us. And that's how she became wifey. Um, you know, she supports my career and everything that I'm trying to do. I support her career, and, and everything is good. You know, we got a mutual respect for each other. You know, I'm not. I don't think about. I know she got a lot of male groupies, but <laughs> he's going and going. You know, he's going but, um, in. I'm not, no, no, but it's, 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 it's okay. I know. She under. She understands, and we. You know, we live. We, you know, we have a very happy life. You know, so I. I, 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 I I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. You know, I can't can't complain. Uh, again, shout out to Wifey for Lifey, Baby Boo, Serena. You know I'm here. I'm, you know you know where I'm at. Cause you know when I tell you I'm be I'm, I'm on TV. I'm on TV. You can check and see. So you know I ain't doing nothing I ain't supposed to be doing. <laughs> and I, she knew like she knew y'all was gonna be co-hosting with me this week. She, I she know, know we three feet away. You know yeah, yeah know. exactly. We had we had. A, she type strong. Yeah. So you got it. Like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> she, right. Yeah. So I know you got your guns out. Nah. But yeah. She said she, wait a yeah. minute. <laughs> but she no no she approved. I told her who y'all who y'all were. She oh yeah I know them. Okay so I said all right cool. You know, so everything is uh, everything is copacetic with that. But um, you know, listen, <laughs> the, that's the things that y'all gonna you know y'all gonna find out you know about mm -hmm. us and how we roll. But that's neither here nor there. Let's uh, we got we, we got some NBA stuff going on right now. <laughs> I because I don't like putting my personal yeah, business out Kyrie's there. Kyrie's uh, coming back. You know, that's it. That's a fact. Haywood's Kyrie and uh, Gordon Haywood are back yep. officially uh at the Celtics training camp. Mm, which which I think. Finals? Um, Kyrie's, yo, he's different. You see what happened when he wasn't there. I right. Mean, he changes the game. He does. He definitely, the he definitely game. does. Game change. I mean, that happened when he was playing in Cleveland, yep. too. I mean, that year was the same thing. Yeah. LeBron right. and them, they lost, yeah. They lost that year when he wasn't able to play. Yeah. And now Boston, again, I think Boston was a contender to be mm -hmm. in the oh, yeah. championship. I mean, seven games in the Eastern Conference yeah. Finals without your top two players. Yeah. They, you know, if, if Kyrie and, and Gordon Haywood is there, things are different because yeah. – 
you know, they have scorers yep. outside yeah. of, yeah. I mean, you know, Tatum, over he outplayed yeah. anything we thought he was going to do this season. Right. But when you have somebody who's a, a scorer, like Kyrie Irving out there and, and another And a facilitator, yeah, and a facilitator. He's not just a scorer. He's a <coughs> master of the game. Right. I yes. Mean, I think he's proven time right. and time again that he's such a clutch player. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he really, sorry, <laughs> he really... He just comes in even at the last minute. So yeah, yeah no, he definitely he definitely doesn't. Yeah. He's gonna carry that team. I think they're gonna do really well this year. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be Toronto, Boston in the finals. Yeah, I think Cause so I, too. I don't I don't think anybody in the East is good enough to to stop a team that's being led by Kawhi, except mm -hmm. the Celtics. So I think they're gonna be in the finals this yeah. year. And but I do I do think the Celtics, if everybody's healthy, will we'll go to the yeah. to the to the finals. Mm -hmm. So, actually, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, this NBA season, everything has changed now, you yep. know, with LeBron moving to, mm -hmm. to, I know. to the I West. I still can't believe that. Kawhi in the East now. That's going to be picture, crazy. And I was like, this is weird seeing him in these colors. Like, yeah. it's, like it's, it's different. You know, it's, it hurt it, it hurt me. It cut me real deep <laughs> right. to, my, to my core when he made that decision to go to the team I hated. Right. You know, but I had to understand, you know, because me and LeBron got similar dreams. You know, Hollywood, oh, we want to do you know, just that I kind of thing. I me and LeBron are the homies. I so know. We, that. Go we, go 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 into into this mode again. we would be homies if we was, you know, if we had met. We'd probably be homies because. Speaking of NBA. You know, <laughs> you know but, uh, but yeah, everything everything has changed now. But it's going to be a very interesting uh, season. Mm -hmm. Where do you guys think, or how far, I should say, do you think the Lakers will get this season? Uh, Man, conference that's... champions, finals. Honestly, I think LeBron is just, he's on a, a road, and I just think that determination, he's going to end up back. You think he's going to be back in the finals? No, nah, I don't think the finals. I, don't I think they're going to see Golden like, State. Yeah, that's going to be rough. I think, they're yeah. going to see Golden State, and my guys, Golden State, are going to win, oh and they're going to the finals. Take, you know I just have so much right? faith in LeBron, Steph man. Curry. I'm yeah. not even thinking about the rest of the team. Yeah, I'm just, just like, like, I have LeBron, straight to yeah. LeBron. Like, he's LeBron, gonna LeBron the said, yeah, they'll, they'll be good. I they'll know. Good. They have some good players, though. They have, And then they have Lance Stevenson now, too. That's a He's like a baby Bron, you know, in a sense. Yeah. With yeah, his attitude so, and his bully nature. Mm -hmm. I think I think that the Lakers are going to surprise a lot of people this season. And I agree with you, Nikki. I do have them in the Western Conference Finals. I mean, clearly, I mean, Golden State is just a juggernaut. And LeBron doesn't have that kind of a team mm -hmm. just yet. Right. But I do see them in the Conference Finals. I think so. Which, I mean, for, you know, for him to, to come over and then be in the West, if he, if he can make the Conference Finals, I think that's going to be something amazing in itself. But he's going to speak to the fact, like, no matter where this dude goes, like, yeah. he's holding it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. No, that's, that's I mean, he's a walking triple-double, so that's <laughs> right. Guaranteed. everything you need yeah. is rebounds, assists, points. Yeah, whatever whatever I mean, you need, yeah. he can get so it for you. He's gonna, so he's we got we got to wait and see. And, and they actually, you know, now that I guess LeBron is out there, the Lakers actually have one new fan mm -hmm. who was formerly mm -hmm. a Knicks mm -hmm. fan yes. but sold his fandom <laughs> he auctioned it off on eBay. He what made was about dollars. Thirty four hundred dollars. Thirty four hundred dollars. I think sixty five dollars around running the area. Mm -hmm. So he, he auctioned. Ran, ran, <laughs> you know what? And I off when, his next when I first heard the story, club, right? I thought about Statman. Wow. I said it's probably Statman <laughs> traded in his Knicks fandom because he was tired of the Knicks losing for all these years and and, and sold Knicks, it. Man, like, but yeah, yeah. Oh, it's horrible. It is. Yeah. But he, he made a decent check though. Man, that's not bad for selling your fandom for three thousand dollars. Three thousand. A random, you know. Just put it up there on eBay, and now he'll be rooting for the Lakers and LeBron. So that's loyalty. <laughs> Listen, I can understand where he's coming from. If you support a team that's you know hasn't won a championship in mm -hmm. over forty years, yeah. it doesn't look like they're gonna get someone anytime soon. You might want to sell your fandom too. So I'm not gonna judge that man. That's you like know. being in a relationship and they continuously <laughs> let you down, and you're like, yeah. I was rooting for you, like. At some point, Listen. you're going to have to walk away. <laughs> no. If you like it, you should have put a ring on it. That's how, that's how I put a right? ring on it. They, they didn't put a ring on it. <laughs> defending you all the time, Nick. Listen. Damn. Oh, listen. <laughs> no, but the Knicks have it hard. I mean, come on. This is not an easy city <laughs> no, to play in. The Knicks have it hard one, because they have the an players. owner by the name of James Dolan, who I don't think knows anything about the game of basketball. Yeah. That's why they have it hard. He's, I don't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I, I always say the Knicks will not win a championship until he sells the team. And since he's not going to sell the team, and he's I'm soon 
Sorry, Knicks fans. You're gonna have to deal with me coming in and you know saying these things about the about the Knicks. That, you know, they're sorry. What about the coaching staff? You don't think they play a part in it? Who they recruit? Who they the the, the style of play? Yeah, the style that, of play, right? That all comes down from the from the owner who, who gets who gets hired. Yeah, who you're picking your staff? Yeah. yeah. So and I mean I, I like I like Fizdale. I think he's gonna he's gonna do well, but the Knicks aren't ready right now anyway, so I don't know if his tenure there is going to be an, uh, enough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't see them being good at least for three years. Mm -hmm. I mean, one, we already know Porzingis is out for this whole season. So this, this season is going to be a wash because he's right. gonna <laughs> he's, at a minimum he's going to be out until a little after the All-Star break, but he may actually miss the entire season. So, mm -hmm. you know, this season you pretty much could just toss this one out the window. Yeah, they don't have enough arsenal. That's definitely yeah. a truth. They don't. They no. don't. It's Porzingis, and then after that, I mean, That's you it. have a couple of players here and there that are like yeah. role type players. They, they should have never they gave have Tim stars. Hardaway Jr. that that <laughs> crazy contract. I don't know why they gave him all that much money, but I mean, after this season, uh, you got Durant up, you got mm -hmm. Kyrie up, you got yeah. Jimmy Butler up, you got Klay Thompson up. There's a lot of guys whose contracts are up after this season. Uh, Kawhi, yeah. you know, so. Maybe they can bring bring over a couple of big name free agents to to help Porzingis, Porzingis, and they'll get better a lot faster. Yeah, you but know, right now, you know what I heard? I mean, how crazy would it be though? They were saying Kyrie might come to the Knicks. I mean, he has Yo, ties to the Bronx. I, His father is from, yeah. from the how Bronx. How crazy would that be though? Grew up in, in, in uh, Jersey, so I mean, th that would be dope for New York because you know I'm not a Knicks fan. I just don't care either way, but. You know, I do want New York to win. Yeah. So I don't care if it's the Nets or the Knicks. I would love for a New York basketball mm -hmm. team to win. I mean, I'd take the liberty, you know, I posted on Instagram. I had to shout out to the, the 2K uh, E-League because that was mm -hmm. the, the only time the Knicks are going to win in any kind of championship <laughs> anytime soon. So shout out. Respectful. Listen, I'm just keeping <laughs> it real. Like, they, won it, they won in the first year. We haven't seen the Knicks win, you know, since I don't know when. You know, so shout out to the whole the whole uh, NBA E-League. That's the 2K League. Um, you know, and then the Knicks team did win it all. So congrats to those guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know congrats, that the Nets guys. are adding a team uh, this year as well. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be, you know, listen, 2K, the new 2K comes out soon. And, of course, uh, the Real Fans Real Talk 2K tournament will be uh, later this year as well. We're going to be back at the Barclays Center again yeah. for the uh, finals. That will be, like, later in December. And you guys know the first round is usually uh, at Bleachers, which is actually up the block from here. Uh, shout out to Bleachers. They, they hold us, they've been holding us down every year. And, of course, it's always for charity. Mm -hmm. uh, the last, the first two years we worked with Anthony Mason Jr. and uh, family on three for the 2K tournament. We're going to do it again because, mm -hmm. you know, that's 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 our, our like, our home charity. Shout out to, to everybody over at uh, Family on Three and mm -hmm. Anthony Mason Jr. Because right. he's also doing some mm -hmm. amazing things uh, in the community. Yeah, he is. You're in the NBA. Did y'all see who I was playing golf with this weekend? I did see that. <laughs> who you Online, playing? you were playing. And, and, and hold on, because... Because I, to, I told you I was going I was going to talk to you about this. First of all, tell me who you was playing golf with. Go ahead, tell Okay, me. so this weekend I had the opportunity. Um, shout out to Girls Talk Sports TV. They sent me out, and I played golf with J.R. Smith. Oh. Um, he had the J.R. Smith Golf Classic, which gives back to J.R. Smith Youth, Youth uh, Foundation, which encourages minorities to play golf. Mm. And I got to ask him some real dope questions, and you know, we played. Now, I need and, to stop you right there. Yes. Did you ask him? Oh my God! What the hell was <laughs> going on in his mind at the end of game one in the no. first of all, NBA I'm gonna defend final. him. I'm no. gonna defend him because without him even getting the rebound, they had no chance anyway. So let's put it there. First of all, and second, what's his name should have hit that that free yes, throw? Yes, George Hill should have hit that free yeah, throw. Yeah, George Hill should have hit that free throw. This is not the throw. first time that that yeah, J.R. Smith has made that mistake. It doesn't matter in his career in the NBA. It's in the heat of the game. He grabbed the rebound. He thought he had time. He okay. tried to yeah. kick it out. Ladies, can I ask y'all a question? I'm not gonna hold you. I can I ask y'all a question? And this KD was right there. KD would have blocked him anyway. Y'all both, both play basketball, right. right? Now, would either of you <laughs> have made that mistake in in that situation? I Go ahead. You, 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 go ahead. You, remember, you just came off winning a championship. So if one of your teammates did that, what would you be saying right now? I'm saying I would be upset, but their problem is, is that they held on to it and they had a whole overtime that they should have been paying attention to. Mm -hmm. They got so worked up about that. When he made an extra play, that would have gave them an extra opportunity. It wasn't a play that made them lose. It was a play that gave them an extra opportunity to win and seal the game. 
if he had shot the if ball. If he had shot the ball and made it, and there was a lot and of not variables. Ran the, not ran the clock out. Yeah, but there was a lot of variables as well. Would you There's have no done telling it? he would have made would it. Would you have done it? If you were in that situation, you caught who that knows? rebound. I mean, he's who, like, who, knows? That's what who knows? Because in his defense, I, right, you know, he's a, a professional athlete, of course. But you do make mistakes. I'm not going to lie. I had a game one time. I got a little, I got a little in, in, you know, hyped in the game, and I went the wrong way with the ball. Did you shoot oh, another we'll basket? See. And it was like fresh out of, I, I, I think I missed it, but like, but still, like, yeah, 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 to no, do that, but I'm like, saying <laughs> the heat of the game, straight off uh, halftime yeah. or whatever, got mixed up with the direction, whatever it happened. But yeah, I feel like but, you can't blame one person. It's a team. Yeah, they should have moved people on. People blame the last few seconds, but there's so many plays. <laughs> Before that, so that yeah, he didn't and do they, much in, in those but time plays out, either. And they went into I'm, overtime, I'm though. After that, right? Am I right? They, or did they lose the game at that play? They no, went they into lost overtime. the game at that play. No, they went that's, into overtime. That's when they lost the game, right? That's because that, mentally yeah, they broke down. They lost, right? the but they should have so been focused been, on because you, you just they sucked the life out of LeBron's fifty-one point performance in game one, and again they should have won. No way. I'm sorry, Justin. Him getting the rebound doesn't mean that he would have made a shot. So that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. At least he should not have ran the clock out but, in game one yeah, on the road. They, been, they, they should have been more mentally. And he got a little mixed up. Or yeah, he was doing so. some of the other extracurricular <laughs> activities that J.R. Smith is known for. I, I know. As, no, as, don't do as, him like as, that. As well. Right. Don't do him Listen, like that. You, you cost, you cost I, the Cavs, okay? I'm sorry, brother, but you cost the Cavs. Well, okay? I was going for Golden State anyway, so I was like, well, I'm glad that they're arguing and not being focused because that's what you could tell was happening. Yeah, they broke down. They broke down mentally. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. But shout out to Jay and just the opportunity this weekend. Fun in fact, he loves golf. I didn't know that. So when I asked him, I'm like, what made you get into golf? And I basically said, what is his, um, what does he aim to get out of the you know, classic every year? And he said that golf is, is a sport that's expensive. It's when you go to a, a golf course, which is predominantly white, as a black athlete, you may not feel comfortable. Even with me, when I walked up on, I was on my cart, you know what I'm saying? But for my music, the golf course. Yeah. No, I didn't. I was, uh, All right, I you could sure? drive. Right, you got it. Um, I felt a little uncomfortable with, you know, it's predominantly older white males that are rich out there. Yeah. So let's be completely transparent. I, we're a group of black girls at the golf course. You know, we was looking fly in little golf outfits, whatever. But, <laughs> you know, I think that he's given the opportunity for us to be like, you know, break outside of, of the sports track and basketball and try something else. So it was really amazing experience. So shout out to J.R. Smith for that. He's got one thing right. Shout out to him on that. On, I in the cannot. Golf tournament. Just don't hold the ball next time. Dude. Yeah, just don't just don't, just don't, let the clock run out. Try, try something, bro. Just I don't know what to tell you, bro. It's okay. LeBron's gone. It's over. Sorry. But uh, somebody else is gone, leaving us from the NBA. Mano oh, Ginobili. Ginobili. One of my, yeah. one of my peoples. The yeah, Euro, the yeah. Euro king. Exactly, the king. Uh, you know, of the, the Euro, of the Euro step. step. Yeah. Shout out to Mano Ginobili. Yeah. I mean, a great, great, great career yeah. with the Spurs. Y'all, come on, throw some of them that man highlights on the screen for the people at home, so they can see the Euro step or something. Fellas, play it in the background while we talk about Mano Ginobili <laughs> and the great career that he had with the Spurs. Yeah, shout out to NBA him. champion, and you know, that Olympic gold hand. medalist. One, two, left hand. You know, wrong. Mm. Look at that. Come on, son. You don't even disrespect that man like that. Yeah, he's tough. Dunked he's tough. on with the ball, patch in the back of the head and all that. Didn't care about nothing. Just oh. aerodynamic. He always been solid, too, exactly. from the beginning. Look at that. Look at that. We, come on. What are okay. you doing? Okay. Chill, 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 Shaq. Hand. You don't want no boss in that. stuff was always my favorite. I remember the day I learned that, and I was just like, oh. And I was like, was it a travel? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's when you first learn it, you're yeah. like, okay, is this, this who, who had the better Euro step, Ginobili or Dirk? Ginobili. Or Dwayne mm. Wade, because you know Dwayne Wade mm. got the Euro I step too. Ginobili. Mm. Yeah, Ginobili is this is what he do. You see the handle though. This Ginobili got a little handle too. Yeah, he got handle. <laughs> yeah, like you got to yo. And, and you know, me, me playing in Europe, I mean, his style is something that I'm so used to. Like, yeah. a lot of players in Europe, they all play. They have that same little, really? yeah, Ginobili, it's the same. Like, you must love it. They How learn. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It's different though, you know. Being there, being there on your own, mm -hmm. learning the game, their style of the game. It's a, big, it's, a, it's a big difference from when you're learning how to play basketball here as opposed to for sure. over, overseas. Culture. Even some of the More clinics, of a finesse, a even game some overseas. of the clinics that I've been to, you know, they teach the kids at like maybe teenagers, and the drills that they go through are so different, you know, from the drills that we teach, you yeah. know. 
and I could tell how they incorporate those drills into their game. I mean, right. they use them, like the the, the Euro step stuff, the yeah. finishing the layups, like reverse layups. They practice that, like mm -hmm. clockwork, you know. That's Mama like all this for stuff. You. Yeah, shout out, shout out to the man, the myth, the legend. Mm, Mano. Good pass. The Spurs will. Well, they're not gonna miss him too much. They'll miss him Look on the court, the but he is still gonna be helping Damn. out uh, throughout the organization. So yeah. he'll still be in, the, in that Spurs locker room. And yeah, we were saying goodbye to out. Vic last week, and now we. Man, yeah, all now these now goodbyes. Out. Listen, I mean, it's, you know, ginobili has been around a long time, and he played about seven years. Uh, you know. Pro Bowl before he even came to to the NBA, yeah. and then had a, a long career at the M in, in the NBA level. You know, maybe one of the, the best big threes we've seen with yeah. with him, Tony Parker, and Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan. and I the accomplishments that they've had, mm -hmm. making the playoffs every year, pretty much throughout uh, Ginobili's career. I think, I think they made they made the playoffs every year. Um, got a couple of championships along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, two time All Star. I mean, you, you you know you can't knock that man. Ginobili definitely did his thing. Yeah. He Acrobatic probably made some of the finishes. craziest yeah, yeah. shots. Yeah, watch these finishes. Look at yeah. him young. That's, That's young, young Ginobili, Ginobili right, there, right yeah. there. He got his hair. <laughs> exactly. He's getting it. Yeah. Exactly. You gotta you gotta love it, man. Ginobili, yeah. Yeah, he definitely made a lot of circus shots yeah. in his time. Yeah. He so, did. Yeah, he congrats did. again on a, on a wonderful career Tough. with the Spurs. Yep. Ooh, I love that we, run. We, we lost a little, we lost some excitement, man. Yeah. Without without Mono and then, you know, the Spurs, I mean Tim Duncan retired mm -hmm. a, a year ago. Mm -hmm. Tony Parker's out of there. So that's yeah. it. The big three is they over, gone. man. The Spurs wow. got it, yeah. They started that, with a whole new That was a long run that they had and now that's it. Those guys everybody is gone now. It's so crazy growing up and watching certain people uh -huh. and then they leave. Like Kobe was like an emotional like and then that Yo, he's gone. Retired. He's retired. I'm think I'm, I'm a twenty four. He's been around how long? In the league? 20, 20, 20 years, yeah. Kobe. So it's like since no I can life. remember, yeah. I yeah. affiliate basketball, NBA with Kobe. So yeah. it's like yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. There you go. It almost feels personal like you know them, right? Yeah. It's kind of yeah. like. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to love it, man. But again, shout out to, to Manu Ginobili. Yeah. Uh, we got, we got, we got, we got, we still got some more stuff going on. We got, we got a little WNBA action actually hey. that's been going on. The playoffs is, is, is going on as as well right now, mm -hmm. but uh, we actually had a, a big injury in uh, these WNBA playoffs. Uh, Della Don, Adela she's Don. Della yeah. Don, she's had a little little scare. She's not gonna be playing in uh, game three. Which sucks because the uh, former MVP was definitely balling in uh, games one and games two for the yeah. Mystics. So, um, you know, what do, what do you what do you guys think though? Like, do they do they have a chance if she if she has to miss more than one game? Which I think. I don't know. It's man. over. I mean, it's over. Is I it know over? It's such, Christy, yeah, she's a huge part. She's a, of she's a huge impact. Yeah, like, she's, she's, that's, that's not that's a MVP. small issue. That's an MVP. Yeah. Anytime you lose an MVP, uh, you know. That's the female Dirk. I mean, that's yeah. the, definitely the female Dirk. I would say, though, that Christy Tolliver, the point guard for the Washington Mystics, is very good. And mm -hmm. um, she has a lot of fight in her. She has a three-point shot. She knows how to set players up, her teammates up. So I think that they're going to have to look out for her. She's going to be the you know, the backbone yeah. to them winning if yeah. they if they win. The good thing is is that they already took one game on the road. So, you know, at least I mean if, if they can if they do wind up losing game three, hopefully she can come back for game four and, and, and even up the series. Mm -hmm. But I, I do think it's going to be rough because anytime you use, lose an MVP, it, it's rough to uh, to bounce back from that. And I think it just throws you off even mentally, like, when someone so impactful like that is not on the court, it puts yeah. pressure on different people. Yep. And you can kind of just, you can have the talent and the skill, but you scramble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what might we, we might see unless they can really get it together. You know what? I want to add to that because I've, I, I understand exactly what Emma was saying. And then on the other hand, it's kind of like, the other team is preparing so much for Deladon to be in the game. True. Yeah. You know, so it could kind of, they can, the Mystics can catch them by surprise, yeah. you know, with having another player that they're not so, you know, they're they're they don't know on. them yet. Mm -hmm. Right. They'll sleep on them and this player could and come out and game. really do, have you a great make, game. Yeah. They won't know their tendencies. They won't really know, you know, yeah. what it is that Absolutely. this person brings. So you never know. I mean, it's a, it, it's up so in we'll the air. See. Yeah, we'll see. We, it made we, it more yeah. interesting, though. Like, now it's like, what y'all going to do? Yeah. <laughs> right? like, Who's going to step up? Because, I, mean, right. I mean, I think they, they, they go up 2-0 in the series if she doesn't mm -hmm. get, get hurt in that game. I mean, she was beasting. 
You said for 30, both, right? Both games, 30 yeah. the first game. Yeah, she had 30, 32 and 16 in the first game, yeah. and, and, and then she had 27 and, like, 12 when she went out in game two. I mean, that's that's – Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, so they they might they might even be up to zip if if she doesn't get hurt in in that game. Right. But definitely wishing her a speedy recovery. Hopefully she comes back soon. Uh, shout out to to the former WNBA MVP and congrats to the present current WNBA MVP uh, Brianna, Brianna Stewart, Stewart. Oh. from the Seattle Storm. Mm -hmm. Great season. Um, I mean, MVP. What can we say about her? Which I which I which I think does she deserve it? It's, or it was somebody else? Should somebody else have gotten the award? Maybe I think co MVPs so. or <laughs> she's tough. Yeah, she's and she's young too. I mean, mm -hmm. listen, she only just came out. She's young and she's getting it. Yeah, she's you know? getting it. Can't she's can't can't knock the yeah. hustle. Mm -hmm. So all right, so she everybody's in consensus. She definitely deserved it. Yes. Nobody else should have got it. <laughs> I mean, that's hard. There's so many. There's I would say yes. All right. I mean, listen, if I, listen, I'm cool with it. I'm I'm okay the numbers, with it. The numbers don't lie, right? Um, yeah, exactly. Because I was about to say like. There's players that I love, but mm -hmm. sometimes players that you love, they don't deliver. Or Numbers don't lie, seasons. or they don't. Right. So I'm, I am right. I love Candy Sparker. I love Scott. There's certain people I love. Yeah, but, but you know, it's like, all right, he wasn't the MVP this season, though. Right. But you can, I can, that's. that's she might be one of the, still be mm -hmm. one of the best players right. in basketball. Right. But you just didn't have an MVP season mm -hmm. this year. Right. But mainly MVPs are based on points, you know. So you can be even the best player and not have the most points. But yeah. That's just how we calculate who's the MVP yeah. these days, right? I mean, yeah. most of the time it's based yeah. on scoring. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's the main. Well, clearly, because James Harden don't play no defense, and he got the MVP this <laughs> mm -hmm. year. So that had to be off based off his offensive game. So it's game. not just based off of impact or you yeah. know, assists or anything else. It's, mm -hmm. it's mostly scoring, you know? Yeah. So Bottom line, they need to make MVP money, like Brittany Griner was saying. Yeah, right, well, listen, I'm down what's with up, that. Well, you know what, ladies? Since let's I got talk about it. And y'all are both ball players. Let's talk about Brittany Griner's comments on the pay scale mm -hmm. and, you know, the guys in the NBA that are really not that good making yeah. $20 million a year. Yeah. Um, so she was – I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. So she was um, misquoted. Let's just say that. They said that she had specifically – brought up a specific player in the NBA and she said average guys like such and such are making 20 mil and we're making 40,000. Now she re you know end up saying that's not what I said. I didn't bring up anyone specifically, but in quote we don't make shit. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And that was the point. Yeah. Um and then you know you seen Curry responded in, or or just had I don't know I really don't know if Curry's um what gender did he, What did he say? He basically made a comment about the gender gap as far as the pay scale. And now I don't know if that was in response to her, but the timing that he brought it up, I feel like it was. Yeah. Uh, but it was nice. He basically said him having daughters made him realize that us not paying women the same amount shows or makes us question our worth and value. Of course. So it, and I never thought about it that deep, yes. but you're right. Cause it's like, okay, if I'm doing the work that a male is doing, I'd be damned if I don't get what he's getting. So for them, they're leaving their families, their mothers that are traveling. Yeah. Think about it. Like, they have kids and get back to the gym. Right. And they don't even get the same, like, what? And the worst player right. in the NBA, I'm sure, that makes more than the best yeah. player in the WNBA. Of course. That's yeah. is a mean, fact. You know, like, that's crazy. Because it's still, still a six-figure, higher six-figure salary. Mm -hmm. Um I mean, it, there's only about like an, on a handful amount of people who get six figures in the WNBA. Yeah, yeah. and that doesn't even come from the I mean, WNBA checks, right? That's endorsements like endorsements and, and stuff as well. And let's be real, it's those women so. that are getting that, they're having deals, endorsement deals. A lot of it, you know, we talked about this briefly last week. Mm -hmm. Is kind of the ones that have a certain look tend to get yeah. exposure, right or wrong? Right. Or they had a big college following, a big college career yeah. that followed. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, and they brought it over. And they brought the it over and yeah. they, it, it kept I mean, going. It's, it's, it's rough because, I mean, y'all y'all know I tell you this all the time. I'm all about getting that check yeah. for whoever in sports. Get it while you can because these GM, not, well, not so much GMs, but these owners, they looking out for, for their bottom line in their pockets. And, mm -hmm. and when they feel like you can't do anything else for them, they will leave you yeah. in the dust. So get as much money as you can. Now, the issue with the WNBA is is that in order for you to fix those pay scales, they have to generate more revenue. Because mm -hmm. that's where the problem comes in. The WNBA just doesn't generate that amount of revenue. So when you look at guys in the NBA, like, you know, I guess whoever, the person's name they brought up in the uh, 
then the story was Tyler Johnson, right? Who's making nineteen million dollars this mm-hmm. year, right. and it's like, all right, well, who's Tyler Johnson? But <laughs> right. you know, at and you know, at the same time, he's part of a franchise. When he's part, he's part of a money. franchise that's that's worth you know. Mm-hmm. almost a billion dollars yeah, you know so what I mean my thing is like what did they what what did what did it take for them to b- build that franchise mm-hmm. you yes. know it was it was million dollars of investments like people yeah. invested yeah. in that and like that's what needs to happen for the women someone that used to invest people need to put their money up people need to help us build because not too long ago we weren't even able to vote not yeah. too long ago we weren't even able to play sports you know on a, on a high level so like now that we are able to it's kind of like we need help you know we need people to help help us yeah. with money so that we can get TV games mm-hmm. so that we can get more marketing and more push to show the people who we are and that we're here you know I mean I completely agree I, I, I think agree. we spoke about the marketing being an issue so I feel yeah. like media will try to make it seem like WNBA does not have the fans they that's not true you know what I mean they have the support mm-hmm. but the marketing the promo isn't really there and I right. wish speaking on um you saying you wish you had someone that would support the WNBA yeah, yeah. I wish like you know how Jay-Z kind of co-signed or co-signed but he financially invested in, in the, Nick, the Nets oh yes yeah. in the Nets. like I wish there was like female like help I don't know, like singers or rappers that would yeah, pick call. up a yes. team. You know no, what I mean? Imagine really. if Ellen, Beyonce, imagine if Nicki Oprah, Minaj Ellen, or Beyonce, Beyonce let's say, yeah. I mean, invested in Liberty. We have tons of female. Ima- listen, imagine that. That, that, that. Or the Mystics be, or somebody. Ellen. Yeah, I mean, we have so many people. People who, that are. Who got, who got the money Oprah, can, do can you just call yeah. up? Like, come I mean, on now. It's Liberty only, it's only right. <laughs> I'm going to talk to even further, Even further, something I've thought about so much is that some of the NBA players given like a percentage of their contract. I mean, one percent we're talking yeah. about. You know I mean, I mean, a one percent from like see. To to five fifty <laughs> of the guys yeah. would be yeah. a huge amount of money for us. One percent of their millions, you know what no, I mean? I, I, I would be a, about that. It's nothing. The one percent they spend that. I mean, it, I know it's their money, guys. Listen. I know I'm not trying to like say it's their their duty to do it, but it would help a lot. We got to we got to it would gotta, help a lot. We got we got to make it happen. No. But ladies, listen, not we got we got to do this again. I'm about to have y'all come <laughs> out no. and sit with me and talk these sports because it, we are out of time officially. So for Myself, Trip Young, Nikki Avery, and Marie. Shout out to all the fans that's keeping up with us. Real fans, real talk. We will see you guys next week, same time. We'll be back live. Thank you for having Thank us. You. That's what we do. Gang, 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 gang. Face facts. What up? What up? Real fans, real talk.com. Where Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com. Got it. Uh-huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Is Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh-huh. I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the art. Even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified co-sign, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com.